Previously, we've discussed soil preparation, proper bed formation, and receiving and care of strawberry plugs. Uh, today, we're going to talk about planting strawberry plugs in one of the high tunnels at the research farm. As you can see, we have raised beds prepared and we have some of our strawberry plugs laid out. Uh, one thing I would like to mention before I talk about some of the aspects of just sticking the plugs in would be to make sure that you turn your trickle, your trickle irrigation on well before planting and make sure that the soil under your beds is moist all the way to the edge. Uh, you don't want to stick your plugs in, in, in dry soil. Um, as you can, one thing I would like to point out though before we talk about planting is that the beds in this high tunnel are not true strawberry beds. These are vegetable beds and the reason we're, reason we're using vegetable beds is because the equipment it takes to make a true strawberry bed is too big to get inside and function in this tunnel. So we're actually using a, a, a small vegetable bed in here. Also I'd like to mention as you see some colored markers on the beds since we are doing have some element of research going on um, that we've divided these rows off in the plot so try and this is more research and we're also using uh, strings and measuring tape to make sure we get our spacing just right. Growers may or may not do do that part of it. As you can see we have our plug plants laid out and we're getting ready to plant them. We're going to use one foot spacing in rows with double rows and approximately 14 inches between the two rows. The uh, the second row, the plants are going to be staggered in relationship to the first row. So again, we have approximately a 12 inch spacing, approximately 14 inches between the rows, and then the one of the rows are going to be staggered. Um, when you're laying your plants out, that's the best time to be watching your plugs and there's going to be some plants that you're going to cull out. Uh, look for anything that appears to be diseased or is a weak plant uh, and don't even plant those. Though Those plants may or may not survive but if it's a weak plant it may not be productive in the end. I would rather see a nice even planting and then say you have a row that you have to just leave off because you ran out of plants. Well, I would rather be taking care of a nice even row than taking care of ones that have blanks and uh, weak plants in them. It's going to cost you. It's going to cost you time and money to take care of those plants. So take care of good ones. Of course, as you can see, we're planting by hand. Um, in here and we're just putting out a few hundred plants in the high tunnel so uh, really it's not going to take that long especially if you have some help. Uh, generally what I like to do is uh, have somebody come ahead of me uh, selecting the plants, laying them out, getting them ready and then have I or someone else coming behind and plugging them in. Um, we're we're going to basically come right here by our string and we're going to really pay attention to how we're spacing them and I'm going to take that plant and I'm going to push it in. Now one thing that is crucial that you want to watch out for you don't want to get your plants too deep you want to notice the crown on the plant and the growth tip. Basically you want that plant or the uh, the plug, the dirt, the soil and the plug, you want it a little bit below the the top of the bed or a little bit below the plastic. A quarter inch 
might be a good rule of thumb. One thing you don't want to do, you don't want to put that that growth tip or the top of that crown too far below. Don't put it way down in there. Um, the other thing is, and I can illustrate this right here, is don't leave your plant, your plug sticking up like that. Don't plant it too high, but just set it down. And just like planting other plants, you know, a good tight hole, firm the, firm the soil in around that plug a little bit. After after we get the we get all our plants in, a lot of times your plugs will come with runners on them, and they'll even have some flowers and some small fruit. We don't want these. We're going to wait 30 days until we let these plants flower. One thing we want to do is come back and pinch off all the runners, pinch off all the flowers, and in my in my mind, I'll come through especially in a smaller planting like this. And if there's dead leaves, go ahead and pull the dead leaves out. And we'll discuss more management later on. But one thing I'd like to say is the dead leaves are gonna provide a substrate for disease organisms to start growing.